And Barnet looking to go one better there. Second place finish last season. Forest Green have started well with a draw and a victory to their name thus far with their last fixture being a 4-0 demolition of Boston United. Barnet meanwhile picked up a victory in their last fixture. Also with Callum Stead scoring twice. Run. Finds Hartigan. Hartigan looks for Callum Stead who runs across his man again. Cuts it back. No one there. Great bit of play though. Oh, Bonnie, great pacing down. There we go. Carnu. Which way will he go? Left or right? And it's left now. Chip towards the far post. Hey, oh, oh, just wide. Oh. Great play there from the boys. Great play. Probably the best moment of the half for Barnet. Lovely chip into a good wide area. Joe Kizzy was coming. Sorry, not Joe Kizzy. Cut that ball out. Yeah, great interception from Miles there. Right back again. Chip towards the middle. Good header in the air. Oh, the referee. referee. Surely has to act here, and he does. Well spotted there from the referee, because sometimes, sometimes people don't see that because they're looking at the ball rather than what's going on. Well, I think it was a, an accident from uh, Chris Doyce there, but he just knocked the goalkeeper as he was trying to come for the ball. Uh, certainly impeded him, and good spot from referee. Stead, flicked back towards him again from... Good play in the middle, here comes Barnett down the left-hand side, Henlock. Chip towards the middle, Stead! Oh! Can only head over the bar, and Callum Stead. It was a good ball into the mix. A decent jump, couldn't get it directed towards the goal. Great play there, great cross from uh... As well, McAllister gets in possession inside the penalty area. McAllister across the box with the shot. Oh, it's straight towards the hands of the goalkeeper. It was really well in the end. Nick Kay spilled it initially, but then got on top of it. Be easy enough to clear for Barnet. Oh, great work. And he's pulled back as well there, and that's a free kick. Sean Long picks up the yellow card, and that's his second yellow card, actually, and that's going to be a red for Sean Long. And this may well change the outlook of this game. Suddenly, uh, have Come to alive. play a bit harder. Here comes the chance now for Barnet. In towards the middle, this is the chance. It's still alive, and the keeper dives onto it. And Jed Ward makes it his own. Yeah, that was a great passage of play there. Got kids behind the back line, cut it back, and I think Chappie's gone to sort of flick it in. Oh, so close. Well, that's the sort of stuff that Dean Brennan will want to see. Infield to run, and then the flick on. Oh, it's a good chance here. Headed at the back post and headed up and high rather than down and low. And it goes soaring over the crossbar. Unlucky there from Reese. I can feel your energy here, Nicky. You're trying to head every ball that goes across oh, honestly, there. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm on the pitch. I think uh, Kizzy's. I think Kizzy's left it for for Reese there because I think he thought he was in a better position behind it. Kick out on this near side. Good header in the air there from Mark Shelton. And then flicked on Brunt. Just can he get away here? Brunt flicks across towards Hall Johnson now. In towards. Great finish from Zach. Zach Brunt gets it. It's been coming all game. It has, it has. And you can hear the noise from the fans as they rush to congratulate him. Just what we needed in the nick of time. Yeah. He's enjoyed what he's seen today, and he was even more happy when he saw the goal go in. Barnet start their home season with three points. Great Here win. the highs. A fantastic effort. Forest Green Rovers battled and battled, and at times looked like the experienced side, but Barnet kept going in the second half. Forest Green Rovers went down to ten men. Sean Long booked twice.